Hello, my name is Trina. I'm a medical cannabis patient. I partake of cannabis on a regular basis for PTSD, arthritis of both my knees and ankles, social anxiety, and a few other conditions you can learn more about through watching the previous shows on this channel. This is the Productive Cannabis Connoisseur, a channel dedicated to medical cannabis patients and adults 18 and over. So thank you for joining me today. I wanted to kind of continue with the conversation that I did yesterday talking about holograms, but take it even further, um, specifically talking about um, the whole 911 incident. <clears throat> A lot of people still are unaware of the fact that that whole incident could have been just set up by the government. There's still a lot of people that don't aren't aware of that. And once you're aware of what the government can do to create illusions within your world, these type of things don't seem so surprising. So I wanted to read to you guys an article that I found um, online, uh, and I'll give you the link to the um, article in the description below. And uh, <clears throat> I just wanted to let you guys know that, you know, ever since I started partaking in cannabis on a regular basis, not only does it help with all the conditions that I talked about in the beginning of this video, um, of the videos that I make on this channel, it also makes me more aware and awake to what's going on in this world. I mean, I was awake and aware to what's going on in this world when I didn't partake of cannabis, but now even more so because it deepens my meditation. It deepens the trance state that I'm in when I partake in it, and I'm able to see things for what they really are and understand why things are the way that they are. Whether, you know, I like them or not, I understand why they are the way that they are. And I think it's such a misconception that people that partake in cannabis on a regular basis are just dumb and lazy and don't really have much of a, th a thought in their mind most of the time. They're just thinking about getting high. <clears throat> and that's, that's totally tr true for some people, but for a lot of people it's not. There's a lot of people that have tapped into their own awareness. They've tapped into their ancestors within themselves. Um, that's something that I, I recently was learning through watching some of Bobby Hibbins' videos where he talks about, you know, everybody's thinking about the ancestors being on the outside of themselves. They're actually on the inside of you. That energy, that essence becomes a part of you. And when I'm partaking in cannabis, I tap into that part of myself where there's knowledge there that can be accessed. So, um, yeah, that's something for a lot of people to think about because some people just want to come to a channel where someone's just smoking and, uh, and that's it. And those kind of channels do serve a purpose too because what it does is it shows that cannabis isn't harmful. And you can smoke all you want, and you're not going to die. So, unless your 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 medicine has been uh, spiked or something, or laced with something. But other than that, you know, and that's the point of doing these type of videos, these spiritual videos. So I'm going to bring out. Speaking of, I'm going to bring out some medicine to smoke today. Um, <clears throat> I had a tiny little pebble. <laughs> oh. Excuse the raggedy nails. <laughs> well, they're not too raggedy. Not yet, at least. <laughs> but, um, and I also have some roaches that I can smoke, too. Yeah, it's it's low, man. It's low times, <laughs> as far as medicine goes. Um, but do the best I can. These things are a lot more expensive here. Um, the cost of living has gone up from uh, just moving to a whole nother location and the situation as it is, it's it's expensive. So it's California too, and California is just fucking expensive altogether no matter what. So and I could get into that in another video because <laughs> it's way expensive here. Um, if you don't have if you have meager income, you're not going to make it, or barely make it out here. Seriously. So yeah, this is whatever. <laughs> I don't even know what strain it is. Um, it's the one I've been smoking on for a while. Um, 
that I said it smells like marzipan. At this point, it doesn't smell like marzipan. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, thanks for joining me today. I hope you're having a good day, and I hope that partaking in cannabis does get you in touch with your spiritual side and gets you in touch with your higher self and your ancestors because <clears throat> that energy is always there to help you. But we forget about that when we're stressed out. So, cheers, everyone. <coughs> oh yeah, that's good. This is the wake and bake too. <laughs> For sure. <coughs> oh, good thing I have lots of water. Okay, where's my water? <laughs> take one more and then I think we'll be ready <laughs> yeah, it really got me relaxed it's it's just been a tense filled day or not day just year actually 2018 has been a kick kick you in the ass year Japanese astrology it's the year of the dog I believe it the ferocious dog barking at you nipping at your heels if you're if it's a poodle <laughs> So anyway, or a Pomeranian. <laughs> All right. <coughs> I need more water again. <laughs> water is the elixir of life. This guy once asked me that, what the elixir of life is. I get people approach me saying things like that. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> on with the show. So the name of this article, it's on this website called yournewswire.com. News, truth, unfiltered. So it's supposed to be like alternative news uh, website. <clears throat> Never heard of it. I've heard of some other alternative uh news websites but this one i've never heard of like there's a, a daily rabbit hole i think that's one excuse me when i used to watch or look at he also has the guy that runs at daily rabbit hole he also has a um <coughs> has two youtube channels outer light and outer dark and um i used to watch the outer light one a lot um just haven't gotten into it lately just not watching it lately <clears throat> but yeah he used to cover stories like this he, he still does he's making them left and right pulling them out <laughs> so yeah um yeah when i when i refer to news i don't refer to like the 10 o'clock news or like regular commercial tv news <clears throat> the news that i listen to is like um like i have this real liking like like for um for this college radio station called KDVS. They play all kinds of music and their news is very uh, alternative in nature <clears throat> um, that they present on there. And um, yeah, they bring forth stuff that you wouldn't hear in like regular mainstream uh, news. But I don't like looking at the news or listening to the news too much really, whether it's mainstream or it's alternative news. Sometimes the alternative news <laughs> can get a little bit conservative, so sometimes that happens. But um, <clears throat> but yeah, anyways, let's carry on. The name of this uh, article is CIA pilot presents evidence that no planes hit towers on 911. So when was this article written? This article was written July 22nd, 2016. <clears throat> Just because it's uh, two years ago still makes it relevant, though, even though I, I think you know, certain events and certain facts, certain things that are being presented to the public can be relevant, even though it, the article was written two years ago, you know, 
facts are facts, you know. And who? And then I know who they're talking about because John Lear is this guy that <clears throat> I found him years years ago on uh, YouTube, and I listened to his story, and what he had to say was very fascinating about uh, the whole incident of nine one one. Yesterday I was talking about holograms and how <clears throat> certain people said were saying the holograms are put up before the Twin Towers so nobody can really truly see what really went down with that, so. All right, let's get into this. Let me take one more puff, though. <laughs> that was a pretty strong hit, but I liked it, so. It's helping a lot. I've been having a lot of anxiety and stress, so cannabis definitely helps me with that. And that some people can't understand still. Even people that smoke cannabis still can't understand that. <laughs> Everybody's body and mind works differently, and mine is definitely conducive to cannabis. I may have to do a story, uh, show about what I learned about cannabis and melanin, so... It might be fascinating, may anger some people, I don't know, who knows. <clears throat> Whew, alright. But before I get into this again, um, we are in the second day of Mercury Retrograde, so just letting you know that. And if you don't know what Mercury Retrograde is, check out my Dark Moon Doll channel where I do a video all about Mercury Retrograde. It started the 26th and it lasts till August 19th, so definitely check that out. <clears throat> and see for yourself what I'm talking about, the challenges that some people uh, face when this cycle comes around. So, so yeah, and the themes of this uh, Mercury retrograde is anger and what was it? Why do I always forget the second one? Unreliability, anger and unreliability. Those are the two keywords for Mercury retrograde. So just be, be mellow. <laughs> Try not to start too many. <clears throat> to try not to start any uh, craziness within your world if <laughs> you can help it do the best you can <clears throat> if someone doesn't agree with you just you don't have to have the last word <laughs> that's how I feel about it I've already gotten a really nasty comment um, this always happens around Mercury retrograde too I mean it still happens to me anyway I get nasty comments all the time but more so during Mercury retrograde, <clears throat> and I already got one, and it was a long ass comment. It was ridiculous. <clears throat> you know what I do with those kind of comments? I just push the delete button, like it never existed. <laughs> so anyway, it works for me. <laughs> So here we go. Ex-CIA and commercial jet pilot John Lear claims that the Twin Towers were not brought to the ground by planes crashing into them on 9-1-1. And now detailed information has been posted online corrobor corroborating his account. Yeah, you can just look this up on YouTube. It's, it's trippy to see this. <clears throat> so, in Lear's expert opinion, the official claim that two planes crashed into the towers is actually physically impossible. With reports from the Kremlin that President Putin will release satellite images proving that the Twin Towers were destroyed by a controlled demolition rather than by the force of two planes, enormous strides towards disproving the official 911 commission version are taking place. Let's see we go down here. <clears throat> the grandson of, of Learjet Founder Bill Lear, John Lear is a retired airline captain and former CIA pilot who has flown over 100 different types of plane during 40 years of active flying. He holds more FAA Airmen certificates than any other FAA certified pilot and has flown secret CIA missions in Asia, Africa, Eastern Europe, and the Middle East. <clears throat> Basically, you don't want to argue with John Lear about flying in planes. He's as close as you can come to being American intelligence and aerospace aristocracy. Aristocracy, even, is aristocracy. <laughs> Making up words and shit. All right. 
Okay, here we go. We were supposed to believe that both planes were entirely inside the towers, with no pieces showing. A Boeing 767 is 156 feet wide and 159 feet long. The distance from the outer perimeter of the North Tower at the alleged point of contact by AA Flight 11 <clears throat> to the central 47 massive inner core beams that are cross braced is 60 feet. The distance from the outer surface of the South Tower at the alleged point of contact by UA Flight 175 to the core structure of that building was 37 feet. The differential in length in relation to the North Tower with respect to plane length and a building length that is measured in terms of the distance to the core structure is about 99 feet. The differential, hold up, the differential length for the South Tower is approximately 122 feet. <clears throat> a 767 is 159 feet long, so most of the plane has got to be outside of the tower in both cases, since there's simply no room for the entire length of the plane to crumble into. That makes sense. Why didn't we see 99 feet of AA Flight 11 sticking out of the North Tower or broken off, crumpled up, and or crumbling to the ground below? Why didn't we see 122 feet of UA Flight 175 sticking out of the South Tower or crumpled up and or crumbling to the WTC Plaza below? <clears throat> there is no plane or wreckage at all to be seen in the whole of either tower in any video or photos. Of course, there are no planes to be seen in the holes of either tower or on the street below because there were no real planes. Hologram. We would, we would expect a sharp deceleration as the plane crumpled to fit into the 60 feet of space, North Tower Flight 11, and 35 feet of space, South Tower Flight 175 from the perimeter to the central steel core. Instead, in the videos, both planes enter the towers entirely at uniform motion. Yeah. I knew this was BS when it went down. I was here when it went down. I was alive during that time. <clears throat> during that time period back in ancient history. Yeah, I mean, how long ago was that? My fucking God. Shit. They sure did create a lot. The government sure did create a lot of fear within people. And... That fear stays. Every time it's 9-11, everybody gets that feeling. You know, that's what they do. They create these feelings on these specific days. These <clears throat> energies are thrust upon us on these days. They attach this energy to this day so that whenever this day comes around, you're filled with fear and sadness. <clears throat> it's a mind control thing, exactly what is what's going on in this world with these major tragedies. They have control over this. They have control over what they can do all over the world, the government. <clears throat> I feel like it's mainly the, uh, I think feel like it's mainly American government and British government that are controlling this whole world, you know, politically, so. But, you know, do your research. Don't take my word for it, you know. So. <clears throat> I'm no John Lear, that's for sure. This guy is just... is very, very intelligent and very uh, articulate in how he describes these things, breaks it down. Um, you can watch some of his videos, too. Um, very, I was very impressed by the wealth of knowledge that he had on this one you know one subject some people just get really into one thing and just learn the ins and outs of it detail by detail and it's just it's impressive to me when someone knows exactly what they're talking about you know breaking it down having facts right there before you and showing you that it that it this couldn't have gone down the way that they say it did so yep you can't just believe in everything you see on commercial news. I hope you guys realize that. <laughs> I think a lot of people that watch this channel do realize that. but And I think a lot of people that watch this channel don't realize what 
I'm really all about because they only see a f only a few videos on here, so they don't know my full, <laughs> you know, gamut of uh, topics that I cover here. And so some of the videos can become like shocking, like, wow, I didn't know you felt that way. Yeah, I feel that way. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's, <clears throat> it's a very controversial topic to talk about still to this day, because still people want to believe what they saw in the news. And the news always skews things. The news skews <laughs> all the time. So, oh man, this is delicious. Feeling mighty uh, toasty in here. <laughs> Stay hydrated. Okay, let's see the rest of this article. So he goes into talking about torsion, breaking it down. This dude, like, he knows his shit, you know? And so it's hard. I don't see how people, to me, people can say he's lying about what he's talking about. Let's see, here we go. See that? I don't know if you guys can see that well. But that's all I can show you there. And I'll give you the link to this article in the description below so yeah I just wanted to kind of show you he's got a diagram there was one video where they were interviewing him it was a long video <clears throat> I think it was like a three-part actually and they're interviewing him talking about specific things like area 51 all that 911 all that and he's totally breaking it down facts and figures he's got things written down he's got diagrams and shit you know and it's kind of hard to say hey this guy's full of shit He's not, I mean, in my, from what I've seen, this, I mean, he's got it going on. I mean, he just has an explanation for everything. Whenever the the person that was interviewing him would ask him a question, he'd break it down, bring out some photos or diagrams or whatever, and you're looking at it and you're thinking, well, okay, that makes sense. So, <clears throat> hard to explain. Um, definitely check him out, John Lear. Um, does he have a book? I don't know if he has any books. I, I should check that out myself. But So anyway, let's go down here a little bit. So they're saying something about Isaac Newton's third law of motion. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. <clears throat> High school physics states that the force an airplane exerts on a building is the same as the force a building exerts on an airplane. Let's apply Newton's third law to Flight 175. In the 911 story, Flight 175 strikes the South Tower at 450 miles per hour. Now imagine the South Tower moved at 450 miles per hour and struck a stationary Flight 175. We would not expect that Flight 175 would be undamaged, we would not expect that it would simply disappear in the South Tower. Any video that shows an aluminum airplane with a fiberglass nose cone gliding through a steel and concrete building violates Newton's laws of motion. <laughs> That's a good point. Are they going to talk more about holograms in here? It's not, it's not covering that. Wow, okay. There are no verified airplane parts. Wow. Apart from one or two props placed there, like a bit of tire and a bit of engine, parts that didn't even match <clears throat> a Boeing 767 and like the laughable bit of engine on the Pentagon line, there were no real plane parts or debris to be seen. No black boxes were ever found at ground zero. <clears throat> In reality, if a plane had hit the tower, it would have crashed up like a car hitting a wall and its wings would have broken off and the majority <clears throat> of the plane would have fallen to the street below. The street below would have been littered with plane debris and charred remains of the passengers, yet it wasn't because there was no plane. <laughs> For real, I mean, 
<laughs> Much more obvious can you be? So a lot of uh, retired commercial pilots are coming forth with their story. Because they don't want to say it when they're still involved with the military, of course. You know. Like this one guy. <clears throat> his name's Captain Russ is it? Wittenberg. I think I may have seen one of his uh, lectures. <clears throat> the government story they handed us about 911 is total BS, plain and simple. There is absolutely no possibility that Flight 77 could have descended 7,000 feet into two, in two minutes, all the while performing a steep 280 degree banked turn before crashing into the Pentagon's first floor wall without touching the lot. Captain Russ Wittenberg, U.S. Air Force retired commercial pilot. He flew for Pan Am and United Airlines for 35 years. So that, that speaks volumes, right? <clears throat> this guy knows what's up. Um, and you got the fuck out, retired, <laughs> you know, get the hell out of there. Smart choice, man. It's just, cra it's just so crazy. And people won't know the truth because they'll just believe, a lot of people still believe what was handed to them on the television, on this tube. <laughs> the, the idiot box. <laughs> so, I mean, I think... Here, to be serious about it, like, with television and all that, um, when I watch, like, just a regular television show, I'm, I'm taking in, looking at the stuff in the background, like, the signs and symbols and shit, seeing all the stuff that they're doing to create this piece of, um, what they would probably call art, <laughs> to present to the world. <clears throat> Everything has something within it, even just regular news has a lot of things going on in it that has all been scripted and planned out to give you a reality that they want you to live in not the reality that you want to live in so maybe you have to like really research things and not jump to conclusions about what may or may not have happened at major big life-changing events for a lot of people 911 so It's amazing when something like this happens and people like get really friendly and happy that they have you in their life and all this stuff, but when beforehand they just really could care less about you. I mean, that happened to me during 911. You know, all of a sudden, you know, all is good and let's all stick together and stuff like that. When these things happen, we all need to stick together. But then when this shit wasn't happening, it, was, it wasn't even like that, so. It's just amazing what happens with people, you know, when something so traumatizing is put before their eyes. That's what it is. I mean, television pretty much is mind control, is what it is. It's trying to control how you think, how you feel. <clears throat> and the sooner that people realize that, even if you do still choose to watch television programs or whatever, I mean, I still watch the things like like Nick, Cage, uh, Luke Cage, and things like that, or shows like that. I don't watch a ton of television though, but uh, what I do watch, I do look at what they're doing with the images and the people that they choose to play specific roles and characters. It's just all orchestrated <laughs> for us to believe and see the world a certain way. Even if just for that one hour that we're watching that show, we're in that world, you know. Oh man, this is so good. And I don't have an ashtray. Oh, okay, yeah, I've got one of these pokey things in here. Yeah. This is this is turned out to be a really nice uh, session. I'm not. They're not saying much about holograms. Um, Let's see. Okay, here we go. In all the footage, the ledge planes hitting the Twin Towers clearly do not look real. There, here we go. The planes have a computer-generated appearance. In the different footage, we see the planes changing shape and color. 
Missing Wings, Our Featureless and Blurred. Tyler John Lear made the observation that the plane has no strobe lights. The plane also casts no shadow. Ha. Huh. Mm hmm. Busted. According to BTS statistics, both 11 and 77 officially never took off on 9 11. The meticulous data kept on every airliner taking off at every airport in the country also showed no elapsed run time, wheels off time, and taxi out time, not to mention several other categories left blank on 9 11 concerning the two flights. Huh. Although the flights 11 and 77 have the above data meticulously logged on 910, it was suspiciously absent on 911, even when every other plane that took the took of the day had been that took of the day, okay. The took of the day had been recorded and logged by the BTS. The flight that was labeled flight 11 by air traffic control was 10 miles from Manhattan at 8.46 a.m. If flights AA-11 and AA-77 <coughs> never existed, then there are only two planes, not four, to be accounted for. Investigators who have checked the tail numbers for the planes which departed as UA-93 and UA-175 on 9-11, namely nine, I mean N-591-UA and N-612 UA. It's a lot of letters and numbers. <laughs> All right, anyway. Believe that these plans are still in service. If so, and if AA-11 and AA-77 never existed, then the number of Boeing 757s and 767s destroyed on 9-11 was not four, you, as the U.S. government maintains, but rather zero. Huh. It's a hologram. Yep, this is a fucking hologram. So it's like in conclude. Oh, okay, advanced hologram technology. The holographic projector displays a three dimensional visual image in a desired location removed from the display generator. The projector can be used for psychological operations and strategic perception management. Strategic perception management. Yeah, perceive, controlling how you perceive the world. I've talked about this before. It is also useful for optical deception and cloaking, providing a momentary distraction when engaging an unsophisticated adversary. <laughs> an unsophisticated adversary, wow. There it is, man. There it fucking is. Yep. According to military physicists, given the task of looking into the hologram idea, the feasibility has been established of projecting large three-dimensional objects that appear to float in the air. Huh. There you go. There it is, holograms. And you know how many other holograms have the government has the government used in order to fool and trick us into thinking and seeing the world through how they want us to see the world, you know, through their eyes, their eyes of deceit. So, so that was a pretty good um, article. So yeah, it's from this um, website, like I said, yournewswire.com, news, truth, unfiltered. And um, yeah, the name of the article is CIA pilot presents evidence that no planes hit towers on 9-11. And that's John Lear. So look up John Lear too. Maybe I can find, uh, when I load this up, uh, maybe I can find some links that you can go in and check him out too. Because he's got a good perspective on it because he actually is an expert, you know. He was in the Air Force. He flew planes. You know what I mean? All this... So that gives him a lot of credibility. So then it's just somebody like me is like, oh, of course it's a hologram. Yeah, of course. You know what I mean? He has more credibility than I do because he, you know, actually flew planes and he still um, he still speaks about it. Um, I saw him in an interview last year that was really good. So 
Yeah, and then the whole Area 51 thing. Um, he has some words to say about that as well. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to end this. Let me save this link so that I don't forget to put it in the description below. So let's leave it there. Okay. And just want to say thank you for joining me today for today's show. I really appreciate it. Um, I hope you guys learned something new today or maybe confirm stuff that you already kind of in intuitively knew about this world, um, about how the government does use holograms, and about how the fact that cannabis can help awaken people, you know, awaken their minds. I think a lot of times people can't handle partaking in cannabis on a regular basis because it does make you ultraly aware of what's going on in this world. And a lot of people can't handle that type of truth. <laughs> you can't handle the truth. <laughs> I couldn't resist that anyway. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, some people can't handle that kind of truth. And it, it scares them. So they'd rather be blind to it and not even believe any of this and just call it a bunch of bullshit, you know. But the time for calling this type of stuff bullshit is over, really, if you think about it. This world is disintegrating. You see what's up with the... <laughs> In the political arena, um, it's always been fucked in the p political arena anyways, but people are seeing it more so because it's even more ridiculous as time goes on. So it was always it was always pretty ridiculous to me, to tell you the truth, the whole political system and the government, the way it's run, but whatever. All right, I'm going to take one last puff and I'll have this little tiny thing. <laughs> savor the flavor <laughs> and uh close out by saying thanks for joining me i uh, hope you share this with your friends and family thanks for liking my videos thanks for subscribing to my channel i really appreciate it we're way over a thousand uh subscribers so that's cool it's not a numbers game what it is is i appreciate you type of uh feeling and I really do appreciate you coming down here, having a smoke session with me, and listening to what I have to say about whatever topic I'm covering on my shows here on this channel, The Productive Cannabis Connoisseur. So thank you so much, and feel free to leave a comment and tell me what you feel about it. I don't want to get into some huge, ugly debate about how holograms can't be real and all this bullshit. Like I said before in the beginning, I just delete rude comments and crazy comments or comments that just go on crazy, crazily with no uh, meaning except for an agenda to just insult me. So um, I'm not in to get into those kind of dialogues in the comment section. But if you uh, want to engage me more about your knowledge of holograms and how they're being used by the government in this world and how cannabis has helped you open your eyes up to what's going on in this world. For some people, that's what happened. They smoked cannabis, and then they're like, whoa, okay, this world is, has some trippy-ass shit going on that I didn't notice before, you know? And that happens to a lot of people when they start partaking in cannabis on a regular basis, so. Thanks for joining me, everybody. If you'd like to support this channel, you can donate a dollar or more to my PayPal at kdaddytmama at comcast.net and include a question you'd like to see answered on an upcoming show. It's not required for you to donate to watch the shows on this channel. It's just that people have asked how they can support this channel. And my other channel is Dark Moon Doll and Healing with Color. And that's how you can support it if you like. You don't have to. It's not a requirement. The money that I get from the donations go towards helping me keep the lights on in this place. <laughs> helps with rent. Helps with uh, saving up money for a camera because <clears throat> I've been told that the sound on my camera is not always optimal. Um, I'm using my phone as a camera, so <laughs> that's my excuse, and I'm sticking with that for now. <laughs> and I want to eventually save up enough money to, to buy some land to grow as much medicine, herbal medicine, as I can of all sorts, and fruits and vegetables, and uh, get some yurts on there and some tree homes up on there. <laughs> and get to that situation, that kind of state in life where I can help other people out too. So that's what that's all about. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for joining me. Please do check out my Black Junction TV channel and also my BitChute because my, uh, my account, this 
this this channel was suspended for three months if you don't know if you're new to this channel it was suspended terminated for three months was gone and then they brought it back and uh, so there you go it can be here today and gone tomorrow so remember that so that's why I want you to go and check out Black Junction TV and bid shoot channels and it's in the links these links are in the description below so yeah so thank you for joining me brightest blessings to you all i hope you have a wonderful day and i hope you stay awake and aware of what's really going on in this world and not be blind to what's going on <clears throat> find a reliable source of news if you're going to look at news i mean if you must look at the news or whatever i don't look at the news all the time not even the alternative news do i look at all the time but when i do um, I try to find a reliable source of someone who's speaking the truth and not just speaking in riddles or whatever, in vagueness. I like to get the truth out. And what I presented to you with John Lear and his perspective of it, I think that's more truth than any, you know, <clears throat> national popular news uh, station. You know what I'm saying? So. Alrighty guys, I will see you soon, maybe. So that's why I say check out my bit shoot and my Black Junction TV channel.